is a beautiful day. Welcome to the Delaware Creek. Look at this, man. It is absolutely crystal clear, even though it rained a lot yesterday. All right, let me show you around real quick. So this is where we are starting the day off. And we are at this creek. Look, you can see the little, little fish swimming everywhere. We're in a freaking aquarium right now. We're over here at this creek. Oh, hello. Sunglasses in the water. Give me that. That's probably how you get pink eye or freaking green eye or something. But this creek is unique and special. Let's go walk down this way. You guys see the title, you see the thumbnail. We are gonna be trying to catch some big old monster fish. And let me just show you why this creek is so cool. All right, so if you guys haven't checked out the last video, I definitely recommend giving it a peep. Some crazy creek stuff happened. So this creek, right, if you look right over in this area, it is deep. I'd say that I've done a good amount of creek fishing here in Delaware, exploring different spots. I have never found a spot that is this freaking deep. And when there's deep water, that means a bunch of different species of fish could be holding there, especially some freaking big fish. If you guys saw the last video, let's just say, yeah. Uh, we caught a pretty big fish, especially for a creek like this. Let me show you what we're about to do here. It's gonna be, if this works bad, this is gonna be so freaking sick. All right, y'all, so here is the game plan. We have, as I said, two rod setups. One is our super, super ultralight rod. This is going to be the bait rod. Um, we're gonna kind of throw this in. I have something I've never used anything like this before. I figured why not experiment a little bit. So we have four pound test. Again, it's an ultralight mock light. And then tiny little split shot going down to like a fake, wax worm dude that kind of just hooked I, I don't even know how to how you're supposed to fish those or how you're supposed to hook them but it's a tiny spo size 12 hook on there so once we hopefully catch like i'm looking for like a red breast or bluegill or something there's a bunch of smallies and other other stuff in here but really would rather some sunfish i would think and once we catch that we are going to cut the fish up make some cut bait at first we might live line later because there's some other stuff that we've seen here that's freaking crazy but th this is a little bit bigger and stronger of a rod and we have big hook, three aught circle hook on here. And uh, yeah, I mean, this thing is freaking beautiful too. I've not used this rod enough. So again, if you guys haven't seen the last video, basically I was waiting down here and the first time I ever came here, this is my third time here. First time I saw a really big fish swimming around. I didn't know what the heck it was. Second time it came here, it swam right by my feet when my GoPro was shut off. It was a freaking huge catfish. And that was the last time we were here and uh, we were doing a catch and cook right on this bank. I threw in some of the fish that we were catching and cooking, like the guts and stuff. Saw the big freaking catfish come up. So I, I cut up another red breast, threw it out there. Bam! Smacked it, took me on a ride. I was using this, dude, freaking four, four pound ultralight setup. And uh, yeah, that was freaking sick. While I was reeling that fish in, I saw bigger fish. I don't know if that was the big catfish, but it's this big, giant, deep hole. There has to be some other. There was also a freaking giant snakehead, which I didn't even think snakehead were in this creek system, but it, it was right there. It was following it, and then it, it was looking at me. Craziest thing ever. So we might live, live line some stuff later, too. Can't talk today. Whew. But yeah, let's get over here. I think there's like a nice little deepish kind of hole. Let's see if anything wants this little waxy worm. Usually these creek fish are pretty aggressive. I know y'all probably cannot see very well right here. Dude, literally first cast. No joke. What is this? What is this? What is this? What is this? Please. Okay, dude, let's go. We are in business. <laughs> as easy as that. Boom. First fish of the freaking day, dude. We're about to get it going. It's about to get on. It's so cool too, because if you guys didn't see that video, before we hooked the catfish, like this is a clear creek. I saw it come and swim up. What is that, my guy? And then we were fighting it. It was so cool seeing it in the water and uh, literally just the other fish going after it. I think other catfish were with it and then the giant snakehead. It was just freaking crazy creek fishing palooza and I just knew I had to come back. It's just, I don't know. Especially on a hot summer day waiting around here, it's. It's nice. All right, so cut this dude up. This is what we got. Again, we got the three yacht circle hook. That way, just in case it runs, it uh, will still be hooked and hopefully in the side of the mouth. And a little red breast head, a big red breast. That's a pretty big one, to be honest. Yeah, and this is also an ultralight rod. It's just a little bit longer and a little tiny bit stiffer. I'm just gonna literally throw that right out there. Now, the reason I'm kind of throwing, oh, dude. 
What is that coming over to check it out? I have no clue what the heck that is. Whew. Now, the reason uh, I kind of cast it here, I've seen the fish down more, probably 20, 30 yards. And then this is where we caught it last time, but this creek is flowing down that way. And catfish, if you guys know it, they have like crazy smell and crazy taste receptors all over their freaking body. So that thing, if it's in the water and these fish are around, they're definitely smelling that. Unless they're scared from the other day. It's been a couple days, but I don't know. If they're in here, man, they really realistically should be gunning for this thing. And it might get a little crazy here. <laughs> Look at this, these trees are dancing. Can y'all see that? It is super, super windy today. It's actually a freaking gorgeous day to be out here on the creek because if we were just in direct sunlight, it'd be pretty toasty. It's like darn near 90 degrees. Being in the water and then it's like a nice breeze and stuff. Man, it's just, it's nice. What's up? Nah, I just got here. Hey, how's it going? That's pretty cool. Well, good luck shooting stuff. I'm gonna go down this way. All right, y'all, this video just took a turn. So we're heading upstream now. I don't know what I'm really gonna keep in this video here, but some people came to the creek. A lot of people in that one spot I was at. It's kind of funny. Two kids came and they were super, super cool talking about fishing and they actually had a, uh, ooh, some nice fish over there. They had a uh, pew pew that they were shooting fish with like i don't freaking know what they're doing dude. super nice guys though and the little kid i'll show you he did something for us that's going to uh, help us out today they said better cat fishing is actually over here where we are right now it's pretty deep over here we fished here before but just not like bigger bait like this Whew. and then after those guys came these people came and they were freaking, I don't know if you guys saw, they were like skipping, throwing rocks all up in the waterway. Oh my gosh, and then there's a big, there's an older guy over there. And he's in the water swimming. He came with like a lawn chair. I think he was just separate too. It's like a party at the creek. We'll see if anything bites this right here. This is just an adventure, man. Another first state fishing video. I always used to say, you never know what the heck is going to happen in the first state fishing video. And uh, yeah. It's a creek party. I have learned a lot about this area. Sometimes that's like the best way. Like if you guys ever go to a new spot or if you're vacationing or, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. That looks like a freaking catfish. Dude, is that going for our bait? I just saw something huge. <gasps> Dude, there's multiple catfish in here. He literally said to, he's like, yo, go check out this stump over here. Homeboy was not lying. There's literally catfish by the stump. Like multiple. Oh my gosh. We're, we're gonna get bit. Unless this bait's too big. I mean, that's a pretty big chunk of, hunk of meat right there. All right, well, you know what? Actually, those kids I met, super freaking nice. The younger one actually caught us. Okay, there we go. They're still alive in here. I threw them in a Yamamoto bag. <sighs> Look at those tiny crawfish. Oh, wow. I just caught something right away. What is even this video, man? Oh, yeah, that dude is cracked out. A little smolly on the crawfish. Oh, he's right down there. Do that. Is that a trout? That's a trout. That's a big freaking trout. We've got two more little crawls left. The issue is... With these smallies in here, the smallies are just so aggressive. This video is so random. So again, just right through the tail, I'm gonna put it. Oh, another smallie right there. Yeah, we're gonna have to do more exploring around here. For sure. Oh, dude, there's a largemouth down there right now. It's crazy. It's literally like an aquarium. As I keep saying, I mean, just look, if you guys can see that. I can't tell what that bigger fish is. I don't think that's a trout. All right, there we go. That should stay on pretty good. All right. 
See, will this large eat it? No? Homeboy scared a little bit. Oh, this looks like super sketchy. Oh, right in that shade. All right. Someone's going to eat that. What is this? <laughs> oh man, this is so much fun. All right, another smolly. Shut, shut, shut. This will be way easier if we just relax. Listen, man, I'm on a mission to catch not you. No offense. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. All right, that was our last crawfish. Now we can get back to the main mission. That was like a side quest right there. Main goal today, I just want to catch a catfish. It's so cool to have this opportunity to fish from in creeks like this. And I could see him swimming over there. So what we did, we sized down this bait a little bit. And if that is even possibly too big, I have this little beautiful chunk. Are you guys dirty? Is that better? All right, that's just gonna rest on the bottom. And if they don't like the red breast, I mean, we, we got options. The more we like, Shrink the bait though, I think the more I might. Oh, I just got bit. Something's biting this, dude. What else would bite this besides. Well. Hold on. Let's be patient. Don't tell me this is still too big though. Yeah, we might have to throw a split shot. I don't know if we go any smaller than this, to be honest. I don't even really know what the heck this video is, but if you guys are enjoying it, please go down there, hit that thumbs up button. It really would mean a lot. We're trying stuff, this is a little bit new, you know? I'm not sure of the success rate, but I'm not leaving here until I catch a catfish. I saw a few swimming around. All right, you know what? Let's put the smaller piece on real quick. This is just some experimentation. Bro. Okay, I was changing the GoPro battery. What? <laughs> Are you serious? On the cut date? Question mark? That's not a bad one. That's a fatty. All right, that's not the creek monster we're after. Shout out circle hook, side of the mouth. Beautiful largie. Usually these creek largies have like a very defined line on their side. This guy does not. Thank you, buddy. Not what I thought was biting me. I felt a little nip. I think I'm gonna try to get some more fresh bait. It's been a little bit. I know there's catfish there. I just don't know what they're being so picky about. I'm gonna rock with this for a little bit longer. Then we'll get some more bait. Oh, jeez. We got fish. Oh my God, it came off. Oh my God, it came off. Oh my God, salty is an understatement. What happened? Oh my gosh. What the heck just happened? I have lighter to leader, so I tried to, uh, I should've just brought heavy stuff. All right, we're gonna get it back, or one of them back. That was, dude, I, I know that was a catfish. Hey, at least we got bit. Patience, what am I saying? Just a little bit more patience. I don't know how aggressive catfish are though. Like, would that one go back for that? Probably not, right? Can you guys see that one swimming right there? Oh my God, he's coming right over towards me. Oh my God, he's right in front of me. Dude, if I put this right in front of him, what would happen? Oh my god, I put it right in front of him. Is he going for it? Oh my god. He's right next to it. He chose safety. Oh, you boring freak. He literally went right by his face. He just said, no. Nope. All right, I'm gonna cast this. Oh gosh. We're gonna avoid the tree. We're gonna put it right out there. Please something eat this. We'll give it like 30, no, we'll give it like a minute and a half actually. 
If nothing, we're gonna get a new fish and then change up the bait. That's gotta be it, man. They don't want this like crusty old red breast anymore. Picky dudes. All right, y'all, we've been out here for a while. <laughs> Those dudes I met are actually from Bulgaria. The one dude came down and started talking to me a little bit more. They were uh, doing some stuff. I got another bite. It's definitely catfish. I just, uh, yeah, I don't know. We've been out here literally at this single spot right here. I've been trying to do this for so long. I'm not giving up to I freaking catch a catfish. I see him swimming around that one that I just hooked. Literally, like, I don't even know what happened, but then I saw it afterwards. It swam up and just like, kind of gave me a look and just swam that way. As if to say, like, I know what you're doing. I didn't appreciate that. If you guys want to build your patience attribute and your skill tree, just, just come do this. I'll tell you what. Something's biting me. It's weird though, I don't know if that's like a catfish bite. Mm. Bro, that's so weird. I don't know if they're homies or what's going on, but I saw a catfish swim by me and then right next to it like it was literally hanging out with this big bass like they're just swimming side by side mind you I haven't seen anything in a little while here my Bulgarian friend just uh, came over and gave me a little minnow <laughs> so I put that on with the cut bait I had let me cast into the left here for a while let's try to get a cast to the right Right over there. Whew. Come on. I know you want it. Okay, well, the catfish have outsmarted us. That's just fishing. I mean, it happens sometimes. Uh, we had some opportunities, but this sets up for a good redemption arc. We're, we have to come back, right? I'm really going to need y'all's help, though. Please let me know down in the comment section below. What bait should I come back to that creek with? Because apparently red breast on fish is not it. Whatever comments have the most likes, we're gonna try that out and we need redemption. <clears throat> if you are a catfish in the creek, you better watch out, dummy. You wanna know just where